in the meantime, what I would like to talk about is something really important, crucially important. Well, actually, two things crucially important. I don't know which one is more important. They're, they're, I would say they're of equal importance. Very important. The first is the essay that was recently written about me by McCrumps. And the second is this rapper Lil Xan. I don't know which one is more important, but they're both extremely important. And I wanna, I, I'm really eager to talk about both of them. So which one should we do first? I'm not sure. I think let's do, uh, let's do McCrump's piece first real quick. Cause it's, it's going to be really easy to deal with. Uh, I can knock this out in a couple minutes before modern distributors gives me the link. Um, first of all, huge fan of this nice, nice little Murphy meme at the top. I ultimately just have to feel very, very flattered by, uh, the attention of Mr. Crumps. I'm, I'm delighted that I finally deserved a blog post from someone who had the wits about them and the IQ and conscientiousness sufficient to write a fucking blog post to turn people's vitriol and gossip and hater aid into something that is close to being able to stand on its own two feet as a contribution to intellectual history. I'm afraid that most of the article makes very little sense. Sorry, McCrumps. It was a valiant effort. It really was. And I do commend it. I, I genuinely commend the effort. But I'm afraid, where should I begin? Well, let's go to the comments first. I'm just because I'm curious. I haven't read these yet. So this is my uh, raw reaction. A key premise, says Tim, of this post is that Justin's feudal communism spiel is post-political, incoherent, or ironic. I don't see it that way because Justin really does talk about this shit unironically. Watch your mouth. The feudal communism thing seems to me like he is independently stumbling upon paleocon. Dude, I've been on the paleo diet for years, way before it was popular. Okay, I'm not just stumbling on this now. Come on. Give me some credit, will you? Parallel discovery should be expected because Justin is working on breath first search for alternative forms of governance. I like that. Okay. Thank you, Tim. That is true. I'm, I'm search. I'm on a search for alternative forms of government breath first. That's interesting. Paleo conservative with blockchain is not fascist. It's Jeffersonian with engineers substituted for freeholders. Interesting. This, this Tim person might be an interesting person. To a normie, I could say simply Catholic parents, communist village, dismantled federal government. That's basically what I'm saying. That captures all three buzzwords without contradiction. Thank you, Tim. Finally, someone on the internet who I'm not personally connected with actually has some sense about him. Thank you, Tim. Whoever you are, reach out to me. Let's chat. Am I an ideological crack whore? Someone asks me in the chat. No, thank you. <laughs> Um, right. Let's finish this excellent comment by Tim. That's just his interpretation, but it's a coherent and obvious interpretation. It's dangerous and possibly stupid. Oh, Tim, I thought you were on my team. I thought we had someone who was smart, but no, we only had someone who, you know, is able to charitably understand my perspective, but then goes astray and, uh, making the incorrect inference that I'm possibly stupid. That's obviously not possible. It's more Catholic, more communist, more libertarian, and less fascist than the currently existing regime. Why, thank you. That is true. I just can't buy your argument, Tim says, that Justin is intentionally incoherent. On the whole, that is an excellent comment, Tim. Thank you. Uh, I want to recommend this comment to people. It's not completely correct, but it's, it's quite a good comment. Uh, it contains probably... 8,000% more intelligence than McCrump's piece, which I must admit did contain a, a fair bit of intelligence. It was a pretty good essay by McCrump's, probably his finest ever. Um, and for that, you know, I truly do commend him. That comment by Tim, man, someone should get that guy, Tim, get him his own blog. Or if you have it, send me the link. I, I, I want to read more about what Tim thinks about communism. And uh, I mean, that's just a good phrase. Look at this. Catholic parents, communist village, dismantled federal government. 
I think that that is a slogan, people. We have a serious political marketer on our hands here. I think if I if I ever move back to the states to run for office, I might have to reply to this comment and ask Tim if he's willing to be my campaign manager because he gets it, with the exception of thinking I'm dangerous and possibly stupid. As McCrump said himself, I'm harmless. I'm polite and fluent. <laughs> I'm not an immediate threat. I'm definitely not a Nazi, but you know, McCrump makes very clear. Um, so no, you're wrong on that one on one that that one point, Tim. But otherwise, okay. So now that we've talked about the most, you know, the the first thing uh, that I wanted to talk about today. By the way, I'm obviously jesting a bit. I I actually just this morning wrote a response to McCrum's piece, so I'm gonna edit that up and get that out soon. Um, it takes it more seriously and. It's a, it, it is a scathing refutation of McCrump's position. Wait till you see it. You're going to, you're going to really, I'm going to knock your socks off. You're going to regret ever even reading this post by McCrump's, I assure you. Um, but that'll, that'll come out soon. Be patient. I just wanted to quickly address this while, you know, it just happened and it's on the tip of my tongue. So now let's talk about something much more important, which is uh, Lil Xan. All right. 